Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is another Evans Classroom. Now, YouTube took down my last Evans Classroom, so I'm just going to consider this episode 8 instead of last time, because for some reason YouTube took it down. So now we're having another one. Um, today's episode, I will be teaching you how to use a trick. You can use it on a calculator, and a calculator is an easy way. I'll show you the long division way, and come out with a video about tomorrow, maybe, or the next day. So, you want to get your calculator. Here's my calculator. Alright? So, I'm going to turn it on. Um, let's get a fraction. Let's do... Let's do, let's do, three-fourths. So, you have a fraction three-fourths, and we're going to turn it into a decimal. So, what you're going to do is type in a three and divide it by four. Then you would get 0 0.75. Now, if you know how to convert a decimal into a percent, then this will make more sense. Three, three fourths is a decimal equivalent to 0 0.75 times 100, which equals 75. And if we add a percent mark at the end, it's 75%. There we go. Super simple. There we go. Right there. Now we're going to clear. Now let's do 1 over 2. So we're going to do 1 divided by 2, obviously. Press enter. It'll be 0 0.5. So if you know, 1 over 2 is a half. 50 out of 100 is a half. So this is basically a very simple answer. So yeah, it's super easy to find out percentages with this easy hack. If you can't use calculators in class, I'm sorry. I, sh I will be coming out with a video in a few days telling you how to do it without a calculator. It's way easier like that too. Let's do one more example. So let's do... 7 over 9. So we're going to do 7 divided by 9. Right right here. Regular 7 divided by 9. Enter. Now you see this. You see these infinite numbers? That means the answer will be infinite. So there's a special symbol you do. Right? You take the denominator. Put and take up the 7 from the top. Or just leave the denominator and take out the numerator. And you're going to put an equal and just a denominator. With a little dot on, with a little line on top. Very simple. Shows that it's infinite. It is a valid way to tell that it's infinite. And some questions will try to trick you. Like, uh, today while I was doing my homework, I was like, dang, why isn't this working? So I started researching what to do. I was like, okay, yeah, there's a symbol. I don't know if you can type it on a computer or not. I don't know yet, but I hope you guys enjoy this hack. It helped me out a lot. And I thought I, sh I would share it with you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed Evan's Classroom. And I will see you later. Goodbye, and stay awesome.